Now coming to the one of the most important things that they ask you in the exam, and this is nothing but my oxygen delivery devices. Okay, so quickly, quickly tell me over here that all these devices identify the device and how much is the maximum FiO2 that it gives. Device and maximum FiO2 it gives. So first one that we have over here is nothing but HFNC, high flow nasal cannula, and high flow nasal cannula can give you a maximum of hundred percent FiO2. Now, how to identify high flow nasal cannula? For those of you who have not done it before, this nasal cannula goes in the nose, okay? And then from there, you can just trace that there is a huge pipe, 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 pipe that is going throughout, okay? So, all these pipes are nothing but they are carrying oxygen. There will be a big dabba over here, which is nothing but the humidifier. It humidifies the dry oxygen that goes in the nose, okay? And then here you have the flow meters, air oxygen blend. I don't think they will ask you all those things. But just remember, big dabba and big, big fat, fat pipelines eventually ending in the nose are called as high flow nasal cannula. If they ask you in the exam, what is the maximum flow that can be given through the high flow nasal cannula? Then there is not much space to write. I'll just write it over here. You can give oxygen flow up to 70 liters per minute. 70 liters per minute through the high flow nasal cannula. Okay. All right. Then this one, simple nasal cannula or nasal prongs. All of us know about it. Now, this was asked last time in INICET. And they had asked about how much is the FiO2 that is given by this. Okay. So, there is a formula to remember the FiO2. So, remember if you are giving oxygen flow at 1 liter per minute. 2 liter per minute, 3 liter per minute, 4 liter per minute. Okay, and last is 5 liter per minute. Then the FiO2 that goes through this, so you have to remember only one number. At 1 liter per minute through the nasal cannula, I can give 24% FiO2. Okay, if as I increase 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 liter, your FiO2 will increase by 4%. Okay, so at 2 liters per minute, at 2 liters per minute, it becomes 28%. At 3 liters per minute, it becomes 32%. At 4 liters per minute, it becomes 36%. And at 5 liter per minute, it becomes 40%. Okay. So the maximum FiO2 that I can give is 40%. Maximum FiO2 that I can give is 40% of the 5 liters per minute nasal oxygen flow. Okay. Now, what do you see over here? Forget about this nebulizer chamber, but this mask that you see that we normally use, this mask is called as the Hudson mask or this is also called as a simple face mask. Okay. Maximum FiO2 through this, through Hudson mask or simple face mask, very good. So, maximum FiO2 is 60%. 60%. Okay. What is the maximum oxygen flow that we can give through this? Any idea? Through the simple face mask, maximum oxygen flow is 10 liters per minute. Okay. All right. What about the mask that you can see down over here? It has a mask and it has a bag attached to it. It has a bag attached to it which can store the oxygen. Yes, this is called as the non-rebreathing mask. This is called as a non-rebreathing mask. And we give oxygen through it at 15 liters per minute. And maximum FiO2 that we can give is 80%. Now, this is also a PYQ. It has been asked before. So, please remember this one also. Okay, now what about this picture that you can see? Now, always you'll be able to see a ventilator and from the ventilator, you have the circuit coming and this circuit is then ending in a mask which is tightly strapped to the patient's face. I'll remove some of this so that you are able to see, but just see that the mask is tightly strapped to the patient's face and it is coming from the ventilator. Yeah, guys, please don't call it as CPAP or BiPAP. CPAP or BiPAP are modes of ventilation. On the venti, you can set that mode, but actually it is nothing but your non-invasive ventilation. This is called as NIV, NIV or non-invasive ventilation, okay? The FiO2 that goes through it, maximum FiO2 that goes through it is 100%, okay? All right. Then we have the last one. This is the oxygen helmet. I don't think they will ask you this in the exam, but it gives an FiO2 of... Uh, about 90% oxygen tent, oxygen hood, oxygen tent is different, but this is called as oxygen hood or it is also called as oxygen helmet. Okay. All right. Yes. So we have missed one more and that is the Venturi mask. Uh, when you go back, guys, just see the picture of the Venturi mask. So in Venturi mask, they, you, you have to remember one particular thing about the Venturi mask. It is called as a fixed performance device. Fixed performance device. 
ओके सो वट यू मीन बाय फिक्स परफॉर्मेंस डिवाइस फिक्स परफॉर्मेंस डिवाइस मीन्स हाउ मच एवर एफ आई टू यू सेट दैट मच एफ आई टू पक्का द ऑक्सीजन डिलीवरी डिवाइस विल गिव ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल Virat Kohli's performance is not fixed. It keeps changing with every match. Okay, the matches where his wife comes, his performance is really bad, and the other matches he performs very well. Maybe someone else comes at that time. So it is not a fixed performance. But in Venturi, you have said that this much percent FIO two needs to go to the patient. So that much only will go. It is a fixed performance device. Okay, you don't have to remember the color codes of all the Venturi, but you know what are the important ones. I remember blue because it is the uh, starting FiO two with the venturi that you can give that is twenty four percent and maximum FiO two that I can give is sixty six percent with the venturi. Okay, so that is a green colored venturi. Okay, 